So as I look at the Unit 3 uh, discussion this week, it says object-oriented programming languages have many features in common. Learning about the similarities and differences, advantages and disadvantages of each language can further improve our knowledge and help us with making decisions such as what language to learn and what language to use uh, when implementing an application. And it talks about there they have a, an author or a website that you go to a comparison between the two and you try to make an intelligent decision or start to make an intelligent decision about object-oriented programming. Now one thing you have to remember is that OOP or object-oriented programming is really the focus um, in that, that upper tier type. This is the way we want you to program. We want you to program with objects in mind. We want you to program with methods and different things along those lines. And a lot of times we just kind of do that in whatever other, uh, excuse me, in whatever language that we are used to. However, in our particular case, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get you to take a look at the overall languages and make a decision and, and, and be able to make an intelligent decision between the languages themselves. So it might be a compare and contrast between Java, it might be a compare and contrast between a different language, C++, going back and forth, making decisions where that's concerned. And um, just kind of keep in mind that a lot of times when you go into an employer, you don't have a choice what language you use. They just basically tell you, hey, this is the language you're going to use. And what you have to do is you have to decide if you're going to use that language, you have to know the information about that language or look it up in fairly short order, and this starts to give you a touchdown between those. And if you do have the opportunity to make a decision, you can intelligently speak to the difference between those two so you can make an intelligent decision. So whatever the case is and uh, whatever situation you end up in, we want to make sure that you have as much uh, ammunition in your arsenal, I guess is a good way to look at it, um, for making a good intelligent decision where this is concerned. So far so good. The first two chapters, uh, have, or excuse me, the first two units have been pretty good. Uh, they've uh, really let me get a feel for where you're at where that's concerned. Uh, if you have further questions, uh, do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you very much for your time.